Welcome to the stunning city of Cartagena de Indias, more well known as simply Cartagena, Colombia's gem of the Caribbean coast. Not only is this city the number one tourist destination in the country, but it's also home to the country's biggest port, making it an important city for international trade and commerce. In this video, I'll show you some of the historic city's best attractions and some cool sights and experiences that you can enjoy regardless of your budget. We flew in after spending a few days in the awesome Amazon region of Colombia, which you can check out in my previous videos. And as our itinerary had it, we only had one afternoon to spend in this beautiful city, so we were determined to make the most of it. As we headed to our hotel, we were welcomed with this awesome sunset over the stunning Caribbean Sea. If your time in Cartagena is limited like ours was, then let me show you a few must-visit attractions so that you can make the most of your time in this awesome city. Starting off with the historic Old World City of Cartagena, an area with almost 500 years of fascinating history just waiting to be explored. This city also has some really interesting buildings and architecture that you'll get to see as you explore the city. These old stone walls that surround the original historic centre of Cartagena are around 11 kilometres long and were completed in 1796 with the purpose of defending the city from pirate attacks. You can actually walk along the top of the old walls and check out many of the original cannons which are still in place as they have been for centuries. If the weather is good while you're in town, I highly recommend taking a stroll down to the waterfront and catching one of Cartagena's famous sunsets. They are incredible. This city has a fascinating mix of old and new, and you can see both historic buildings in the old city center, as well as towering skyscrapers along the coast. Take a stroll through the old streets of the walled city. You can even go by horse and cart if you choose to. Check out the unique architecture of the city. Check out some of the city's awesome selection of restaurants. Visit the lively town square, which is buzzing even in the evenings. Check out the markets where you can pick up some souvenirs and gifts. Or just hang out where the locals do. We could hear some music pumping from this rooftop bar, so we headed on up to check it out and have a cocktail or two. This bar is called Avisa and is one of the city's many very cool rooftop bars that you can check out. I recommend dropping in during happy hour for two for one cocktails. The drinks are really good and there's a DJ from the early hours of the evening to late into the night. And the views are amazing. Cartagena is well known for its great restaurants too, so I recommend trying out as many as you can while you're in town. We tried an Asian restaurant called Hesitarian that had delicious Japanese and Asian dishes. The gyozas were amazing, and my stir fry wasn't bad either. And I've already half devoured this, but this is a veggie wok dish. So whether you're in Cartagena for its food, nightlife, or maybe its famous beaches, which I'll definitely be visiting in the future, you'll find plenty to see and do. Whether you have one day in the city or even a full week, you won't get bored. We have one final stop on our multi-destination vacation. I've saved the best till last. Coming up in my next video, I'll take you on a one-of-a-kind trip full of excitement from scary wildlife to jaw-dropping natural landscapes. That's right, we're off to Tyrona Park, one of the most beautiful places I've been to in my whole life. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and why not share this video with your friends? Thanks again for your awesome support of my channel. I really appreciate you. See you in the next video.